Oscar uh, specifically, yes, I think so. No, he is right. You can go back and there are different World War II oh, ships shit. that all have the names. My bad, right? So, they probably changed the guess to be the ship thing, no. but, it was, but the, those original reasons okay, just changed, changed was for because they needed to have a difference in character. Do as much as you can. Okay? Can you uh, do video? Oh, the no. camera can do video, but it's not going to last that long. Do as much as you can with this. Um. Okay. Test some of the reasons. If anything, there's more of a minor. I'd say um, the character differences were like shoes and uh, rays, pretty much the same. You know, as far as like 1.11. One, 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 one. Like it's got a long, it's like got a long power cable. Yeah. And then, um, of course, both the 2.22 will get into some of the different character developments. Alright, man. That's good. Ratio defines actually the Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, like I mentioned, we're going to be getting into that. But uh, again, that's a really good point that um, you'll definitely see some sort of like personalities in the way later on. Right. So we'll, we'll get to we'll get to discuss the characters in depth a little bit more in just a minute. Uh, all right. First, first big topic we have is rebuild versus original Neon Genesis Evangelion. The differences in the similarities. Next, Nancy. Yes. All right. First up, Shinji Ikari. Uh, Shinji Ikari in the original series was more of an unwilling participant, and in 1.11, he really develops as this sort of frontline hero that really wants to fight. Anyway, they found the compass. Continue. <laughs> yes, um, Shinji in the original series was very angst-ridden and very emo, for lack of a better term. <laughs> Uh, and in Rebuild, Shinji really becomes less of this whiny brat type, and according to, and I quote Spike Spencer on this, he drops one. <laughs> Not two, but one. Yeah. <laughs> Sh yeah, Shinji isn't even good enough to drop the whole set. <laughs> That's why he's most not completely low, but somewhere in the middle. I got a good night when he drops the white, he's gonna sound like Rambo. If Shinji turned into uh, Rambo, yeah, yeah, I would be yeah. scared. <laughs> no, that's the answer. I would be scared. Okay, okay, okay. Actually, actually, if that happens, I expect him to shout Adrian. <laughs> Is that Shinji's run with, um, with his normal kind of sick as Rando is? Yeah. Um, actually, I was going to say, um, for those, how many of you have actually saw both 1.1 and 2.2? Oh. Very nice. Okay. Just, just making sure some of you all case, you know, some people that saw this. Let's see if I can like, oh, set yeah, it on top of that Gatorade cooler and get a steadier picture. Let's see if you can. Don't worry about it. Anyways, uh, what's the question? 
that's an interesting one. Um, um, I mean, it's just, I think it's obligatory for Kando to congratulate Jinji on that, really. Um, it's false motivation. Gendo, Gendo sees Shinji as more of a tool. I was going to say, he doesn't exactly sound like too happy. It's like, oh, Shinji, by the way, good job. If he could have done it any more monotone, I think he would have gotten away with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, still, I mean, if anything, it's, it's probably best that Shinji got it anyways because of the improvements he probably made as a pilot. Um, that's what I saw. Yes, Stitch. I don't know much information about um, this, but what about Gendo having Switch Asuka and Toji. Why? Why did they cut out Toji as a, a viable I, pilot? Is that an answer? To that? I can tell you why. See, Asuka's old and broken, so they had to get the new unused arm. Did it even get That doesn't explain the question. No. Well, this is the answer. Solve it. Well, well that, I mean, it's, I guess you could say it's a means to justify ends there, but um, I think really the real reason that Toji is kind of cut out of the equation is that. Toji doesn't play as big a part in Rebuild as he may have in the original series. Yeah, they definitely played the entire high school after yeah. yeah. A lot of Shinji's school life is really to just extracted in Rebuild. So they want to just have the core stuff. And if and I think it becomes a lot more emotional and more uh, just uh, physical, uh, psychologically damaging for Shinji. That, it, that it's Asuka, an incredibly close friend and co and fellow pilot, as opposed to Toji, who, you know, he's a friend, but he really doesn't know him all that well. Stitch. Stitch. Plus, it would crush all the bad boys. Just say. Wait, they were... Asuka, Harold. Oh, maybe Ava troll the fanboys? For a second, I thought you were talking there were fanboys for Toji. I'm like... <laughs> I cried. I cried. So I'll push over here. Oh, I was just going to say, it also has the advantage of if you switch Asuka and Toji, Asuka's a lot more vulnerable here. So, Shinji feels that even more strongly. 
That's very true. I, I could agree with that. Uh, oh, really? Also, another reason is that because of the short time, it gives away the library possibly that idea that will have to so dedicate to it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. 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 Ye
No, I saw that dog in the original TV series, but he is correct in the way that the dog gets hung. The mother's mind is so screwed because it's, you know, I, yeah, I'm spoiled. What movie are we spoiled in? Soul of Mazda's mother is in Unit 2, folks. Sarah goes, but it's, yeah. it's gone from the physical body. She's, her mind is gone, and she thinks the doll is Oscar herself, so when she kills herself, she hangs the doll and crushes Oscar more than one way, which is quite horrible, but quite fun for the rest of us. Because <laughs> <laughs> Oscar's brain is a pleasure. Okay, who else had hands up? Yeah, um, you know how, like, Oscar was in, like, Unit 2? Like, we did that part, like, the body can probably be too. So you said that, like, Oscar's mother could be... Yeah, we really don't know much about Mario to begin with. And I mean, Oscar's nothing was really shown as far as Mario is as a character, except, all, except that she has knowledge about nerve as well as knowledge about, well, you know, okay, I might as well say a spoiler, as uh, Unit 2 as well. Yeah. Which um, is crazy. We do, have, uh, we do have some theories about Rebuild, about Rebuild. We'll get to those in a little while, but uh, one thing I want, I do have a theory about myself regarding, you know, Mari's, you know, in Unit 2. Um, I do believe Asuka's mother may have been a nerve researcher. I don't know if, she would, if that's even touched upon in Rebuild at all. Um, I think in one of the other countries, if that's possible. Right, so she might have had some previous contact with Mari in the past, and that might be why Mari's able to uh, pilot Unit 2 with, without fail. Um, I share because this guy, just because his handle that he was doing the that. Anyways, uh, I was just saying, uh, so back on the Ray, uh, the Ray I thing with uh, the angel, um, we don't really know what Ray's relationship to the angels in this new series is. In the original, she was sort of little, so they were sort of after her. We don't know if that's still the case or what they're Right. We can, I mean, we can only we, speculate. We, we can only assume that's the, that's the same situation, but. You know, until Q comes out and I'll let the cell phone, um, you know, we won't know. Right here. Uh, I want to go back to the video, uh, and, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but the original, and I know the rebuild is different, but the original is in two small, which is normal, or the entire two series is in there, which would be a way to get into each other. Yep. And at that point, anyone could pilot pretty much in two. Well, then, I mean, Kwaru, he was, of course, an exception. I think uh, Shinji and um, didn't Shinji and switch at one point? Uh, I don't think so. I know Shinji. I know series Shinji is in the original No. Yeah, yeah. The introduction to Asuka, yes, but they never piloted each other's angles. What I was saying is I think they did same test. Yes, they did. Yes, he is correct. They did do same test between all of them because they wanted to see how. Everybody would work with all the other. Actually, they did not. Uh, Misato said, I don't even think you can have it here, too. Remember? Right. Oh, uh, yeah. And Oscar had a bunch of his own. No, they didn't. They, 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 they did that with yeah. other. No, I never did it cross sync test. Yeah, that's, that's part they I do care about. And then they explained that, oh, you wouldn't want to do your test in anybody else's name. Oh, oh, yeah, Oscar's yeah. 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 very protective and very attached to her Ava. So for her to, to even attempt to pilot another Ava is just beyond her. Um, not Stitch, I'm sorry. Yes. yes. Um, is that what you mean, the only, uh, ever with the beast mode? We don't know that the others don't have beast mode. We don't know, well, we do know Unit 1 has Berserker mode, but not... Yes, the one on all, and, to some degree. Yeah, we'll touch upon that a little bit, but... The, uh, there's a difference between the Beast and the Berserker. Um, the Berserker is completely out of control. And with you know, with no no one on it. the beast mode, there is control. It's just there's no there's no restrictor. So there's, so all, there's a high power output, high contamination, but you have control. And then there's unit zeros. Oh my God, get out of my head mode. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
as far as, far as, like, as, far as, his, as, far as UE goes with everyone's just the solas in there, um, and everything else is just, I don't even, I think other things is a bioengineer, like you mentioned. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a body with a soul, but it's not the, the soul's body, if yeah. that makes sense. It's like, it's like if I were to take your soul and put it into that guy with the white hat. I understand, I understand what you're saying. Okay, good. But um, where, how do you get indication that that is the <coughs> The only indication we have is from the original series. I mean, like we mentioned before, there's, there really isn't much that's been revealing like, anything like deep that's been revealed as far as we build the paper at So we have to wait for a third or fourth minutes for that. Right. Well, there, I think there's a little bit of a, of a if you notice it in uh, 2.22, with uh, it, it, you know, one starts breaking apart, you do see human in Yeah. Um, you see the face, but it's Yeah. Uh, let me go back there. Okay, um, I remember in the series, uh, Ray Lazarus were in, a, in the elevator, and she told her, if you don't open your mind to it, the table will not move. Right. Um, Asuka is a very closed-minded person, naturally. She wants things a certain way, she wants, she can only do things a certain way. What Ray's uh, trying to say is that Asuka doesn't accept the Ava and tries to fight you know, the personality of the Ava, she will never be able to unleash its full potential. Like, did that thing with the band-aids on her fingers and she even, like, lies down within the stuff. 
stuff. Right, but it's not like it's a prominent thing. It's one of, it's, it's one of these little things that you notice. It's not like just up front, you know. Like in the original series, she just basically forces herself on Shinji to a certain degree. You know, so, so there's a, it's a lot of minor little things that you sort of pick up on and notice as opposed to big moments. Shinji may be an adult. <laughs> <laughs> I am an adult. <laughs> oh, no, no. Uh, I'm I like you. Uh, another wrench thrown into our works about guessing the dummy plugs were correctly at the end of Evangelion. The dummy plugs are marked for water. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, also, about, we were talking about how the game is armed to go to violence. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if this is from the show or what that happened. Aren't they also made with some of the power atoms? Like, that's how they can generate AT fields. Yes. That's the way they can fight the but Again, bioengineering, you're combining a lot of different pieces of different things. It's like, it's like you take the power of the you're, you're taking out, you're taking the best parts of your, of your various materials and combining them into one super material. Uh, can you take, we're gonna take one more. I'm not going to answer that for the simple fact that we're going to get to it. We will get to it later. Watch later. Yeah, because yeah. I actually have a counter argument to what you guys have said. Right. We'll, we'll get to that one in a bit. So, but. Let's get the next one really quickly. Ray. Yeah. Yeah. I already covered all this, but you know what? We just want to have a nice little picture of Ray. Yes. So, you know, convenience sake. And servants. I call convenience, you call fan service. I hate it. Hey, whatever works, man. All right, yes. Uh, much of the first rebuild movie revolves around Shinji and his, his uh, trying to form a bonding relationship with Ray. Uh, they're both cult, they're both pilots, so Shinji wants to be her friend, obviously. He wants to have a good working relationship with her. Um, pretty much, Ray is the same Ray. In, in terms of the difference between the rebuild and the original series, she's still emotionless, she's still, you know, pretty, pretty mysterious in all of, of, of what she does. She is an enigma. Um, the only person that really has anything on her and maybe knows Ray outside of the little bit that she shows in social sets, uh, social uh, situations is Gendo. Well, also retail, because I'd say so, but well, I think no, not as much as Gendo. Though. Well, yeah, not as much as Gendo. Gen Gendo can, is the only one who, can, who seems to be able to make her smile. So she has happy thoughts when it comes to Gendo. With Ritsuko, it's a working relationship, but it's a good one. Um, yeah, there is no real data on Ray, though, in terms of hometown, parents, schooling, everyone, no one knows anything about it. It's a Gendo. Question over the back. Yeah, it seems that in Rebuild, uh, Gendo also seems to be working a little more towards getting Shinji and Ray together, as evidenced by uh, what he says at the end of 2.22. True. Um, I think that's really just to fulfill whatever plans Gendo has. Um, which we aren't there to reveal to us. I mean, we can infer because we've seen the original series, but other than that, we, you know, it's just a lot of what does Gendo have planned for these two? You know, what is his ultimate goal? How will it serve what he needs? Right. You in the back. Um, there were a couple of things that um, I'm a little shocked about when I saw them on the yeah. One of them is this, the brain was kind of covered. <laughs> yes, really, that's true. This is a character, uh, that was one of the things that got me. The other thing, um, getting back to the dummy bugs, was I, I began to understand a little bit why the, the dummy bug system worked so well in Unit 3. Because it was Ray imposing, it was it was sort of like a copy of Ray. She was imposing her will on the machine that didn't really have a dominant soul in it. And as long as that's the case, it works. It didn't work with Unit 1 because she was going up against the original. Right. And, and really that comes down to the differences in the in the types of Ava. Uh, unit 0 is the prototype, Unit 1 is the test type, and Unit 2 is the mass, the mass production model. So after Unit 2, you're dealing with just mass-produced Ava that are specifically made to be compatible with anyone. So they stop using, you know, uh, 
dominant souls and use pretty much soulless bodies for the for the for unit three and on.
Great wants Shinji and Gendo to have a good relationship so that she can have a good relationship. Um, and I think that really comes down to, and spoilers, if, if, if it is the soul of Yui Ikari that is the basis for Rei, it might be a maternal instinct that her, you know, her quote unquote husband, Gendo, and you know, her son Shinji to get together would be a good thing for her. She wants a more good working family. Let's use some baseball. Um, white hat. We'll get to that. <laughs> we 
we don't know. Again, we'll get to that. We don't know because, hey, it's, I don't know. All the way back. You talk about uh, Mari going crazy for using the beast mode, but arguably, um, with her closing statement of, I knew he smelled different, you, would you argue that she could already be just a little I will, well, that's the thing. Mari, I believe, has used the she does use the beast mode in 2.22 before the final fight. She does, and when her for when her uh, originally was destroyed. She sniffs it. And what? She sniffs it. She's she already frozen. Yeah, yeah. So, so before she sniffs him, okay, she has activated beast mode at least once before, and I do believe that she already has some minor psychological contamination when she gets shinji. Okay, that's what makes sense. Red time. Uh, and so her entrance into the film, a fresh into in the Pacific, I do think this is uh, consistent with Shinji's interaction with the rest of the world, how every introduction he has to a person is usually intimate and usually uncomfortable. As the Asta's insulting him right off the bat, Randy, he falls on her while she's being coming out of the shower. I don't like where this guy's going. <laughs> <laughs> it does seem that, like, it, I guess it fits that kind of hitchhawks the limb of saying it's always painful. Yeah, let's face it, Shinji doesn't have a normal introduction with anyone. <laughs> Misato's always drunk. Ray is weird, and Shinji does perverted things. Asuka is violent. Perverted. And Reeds goes like, oh, this is the third child? Right. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure Reeds was perverted too, unless I'm getting that. Yo, no, this is me, though. She might be Possible? Yes, it's no, possible. Baby lobster. Anything is possible. Why the, if you ask me, I think, of course, I think, in my opinion, um, she'll probably continue to be pilots. Well, I mean, you know, depending, depending on how much my time left there is between 2.2 and uh, 3. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, until we know what the time gap looks like and what the story's going to play out as, we don't know where anything's going to end up. However, I do feel there is going to be a major, major conflict between Asuka and Mari once Asuka comes out of whatever coma she's in and figures out that Mari touched her Ava. Yeah, well, this is my thing. If you look at the preview for 3, it almost, and I may be reading this wrong, but it almost looks like Mari's giving a ray of death alert as well. And I wonder about that. Like, why would she be doing that to all, all people? Competitiveness. Okay, so there was a serious page right. Really, oh, there you go. Then I hand over to speak up just because they're all in the back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have a question on YouTube. Uh, yeah. Since uh, looking back at it, some sort of units were built and has some children of Caleb. Since she enters into beast mode, does that really make it closer to the beast mode? Is it just saying that it won't be able to repair it at all? Does it, would it make it closer to the angel? I? Honestly, I think so. I can see that, yeah. Um, I think by, I think what the restrictors do is keep maybe Ava's you know, more human, yeah. but when Mari releases those restrictors, you're allowing those angelic tendencies to really come forth. And, you know, it's, for you know, to become an angel would be an interesting thing. I don't know what kind of, you know, hell bent destruction we could get on that, but... This is kind of something from the video I've given to point to the credits, saying that you have more assigned to pilots. Since there's no really anyone else to pilot, that could be Asuka who's being assigned to it. So it's like the way to come to the plane of her and Mari. Right, and that comes back to what I was saying, is I think there will be a conflict between Mari and Asuka. I think once Asuka gets up, she's going to get right back into Unit 2 and want to kick the shit out of Mari. And sorry, I'm not really sure. Does anybody need an adult? I need an adult! <laughs> Anyways, Luigi, without the hat. Oh, Now you're a little bit Luigi with that hat. Or Green Owl. Which one is, which one is better than uh, she's working with? Is she working for Kaji? Is she working for Slay? Uh, or is she working for Black Bay there? It's just saying black ice is the hard option. I don't think she's amateur. Who is Mari? 
Ferrari originally working for? I don't think she works for anyone but herself, it's really. No, she's working for someone. I mean, it, 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 it's it's in China, she's probably working for somebody. But it's, right. it's not Sale, it's not the United Nations, it's not her, it's someone else. Yeah, there are there, there are other unnamed organizations in the world of AVA that have AVA Kelly needs. The MIB. God, I hope it's not Jenna Long again. Please, no. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> For anybody who doesn't know, Robert absolutely hates the General Woman episode of the original series. Yes, that is my worst episode of an anime series of all time thoughts. Okay, you're the idiot you're gonna end up. Yes, we have to draw all in agreement that General Woman sucks. I win. And the boss. Let's go with the Sorry, what? He said, is she close to a person? I could, I could see that. That would make, that would actually make a lot of sense. Yeah. The possibility of already being a mercenary would be, it would work, I think. It's probably the best part of the demo now. I think that's an interesting theory. Alright, um, we're going along. Moving along. Original series versus end of Ava. Alright, we'll start this one. Simple. Sorry. Hey. You're opening up a camel. Hey, 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 do, I, hey do not make me play 1999 by Prince. Yeah. You make that sound like it's a threat. I don't have it. I just want to say that. I don't mind. I know, but I don't like the song. And those of you are cheering, you get congratulations. You got the joke. Okay, good. Yeah, we will do the patience dance. If you don't know what the Patience Games is, you, you then, don't well, know. Well, way, if you were at Anime Hell last night, you would know. All the reasons, yes, for those who might not understand half this little jokes we make, come to Anime Hell next year. If you hear someone let out an F bomb for about a minute next year at Anime Hell, that will be me if they do what I think they're going to do again. You'll know what the okay, okay, simple, hey, simple fact, Dancing hey, Eagle hey, Man, followed by a congratulations scene. Okay, so. Let us have, okay, I'll say this. Okay, okay. In, your, in your opinion, we don't need more of the walls as much. Let's put the show of hands. We don't need more of the walls as much. Show of hands. Yeah, show of hands, we thought the original wow. series ending. The original series ending, the last two episodes, congratulations, that whole nonsense. Congratulations. Who, who thought that was the better ending to, than, who was better ending ever? We have more than zero hands, I am impressed. So, so... Two hands for one person, I'm sorry, but one, one hand looks at one hand. Okay, there we so go. So everyone else pretty much thinks End of Ava was the better ending. Yeah, we're going to agree to Well, yeah, it's best In the Immortal Wars of Asuka, I feel sick. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We have a question. Um, actually, there was that, um, I've been discussing this with the friends where we think that while End of Ava is happening, the last thing was also That's what I was thinking too, actually. Like, that one scene is actually like another part of uh, Shinji's uh, psyche, like going off on this weird tangent about another world and things like that. Right, and that kind of gets to our next little topic here is there's one component and the other. I've always been in this sort of uh, feeling that you can watch the original series up to episode 24, and then watch End of Ava, and then finish off the last two episodes. And it kind of all fits it and makes a little bit more sense. And just because I believe the congratulations scene is sort of this culmination of Shinji finally getting, you know, figuring himself out, and everyone's like congratulating him on doing it. And what do you think? I just had so much to say. I think that one. Brian is Anyways, I think the best way to watch when you watch up to episode 24, and watch the end of Bay Club until 30th pack starts, and watch 25, 26, and then watch the smoke. Again, another possibility. There, there's, there are many, there are, there's no wrong way to watch Ava. Oh, there is. <laughs> except for drunk. I am getting good suggestions on how to rewatch Ava, so I appreciate these guys. I really do. But yes. By all means, take these suggestions, you know, for what they are as suggestions. Watch, watch original series. Watch Ava. Watch 
whatever crazy you want. You could always do the way I did it. I watched Death and Rebirth, then I watched End of Ava, then I watched the series. I did it backwards, but it works if you were in the right time frame. There's no wrong <laughs> Okay, red shirts, what do you got? It's mental and psychological, and it's, it's, I mean, really, it's up to interpretation to a certain degrees. And neither one has a buzz stop. Remember? What? Well, remember, it, everything gets destroyed in the Nevada, and then it's all instrumentality in the TV shows that we do this Mike Spencer's rant, so there's no bus stop there in it either. So there's no way to get out. <laughs> For anyone who has seen, who has not seen the Easter eggs of Mike Spencer, I mean, for, for even Gellion, Go YouTube then. It is hilarious. Spike Spencer, the voice of Shinji Ikari, one day after the whole congratulations nonsense, when he was done dubbing it, told his director, turn the mic back on, I got a rant. <laughs> oh, and Lance as Shinji, as Shinji rants on the original series. It is, it is hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. So yes, go home, YouTube that tonight, and then watch Rebuild again, and have fun. <laughs> uh, what, what questions? Anybody? Comments? Oh, VJ. Um, this has to do more with the uh, Rebuild now, and uh, how it ended up getting that is the new Is the new movies coming out remakes, or the continuation now because there's some theories going out that there's a big red mark yeah, was that because of the end of the big one when rain was there's not blood everywhere. Right. Was that from we'll touch on this on that a little bit later. Oh, I'm going to yeah. sorry. Yeah. See we gotta have a here. Uh, we'll, we'll touch on a little bit of that later. Um so I call But yeah, uh, there's, a, there's no real wrong theory at this point on what's going on until somebody explicitly says, this is how it is. Even that's wrong. Even then, yes, it's always wrong. <laughs> no matter what, the original creator is always wrong. Right here. How do you think they're going to change the uh, situation in the video when they uh, bring the new version the video? Change it because it changes the storyline, you mean? Yeah. Well, I think there, yes, there's another opportunity that's going to come along somewhere where, you know, the is going to probably will happen. Um, yeah. Um, it's just there's just going to be more characters that we affect in some Right. And really, this comes down to it, the way that the rebuilds are set up, um, it kind of makes a little bit more sense if you look at it as a, as a Japanese play. Um, in Japanese play, you have this, you know, prologue. You have, you know, this the story mode, and then you have this, you know, the quickening. Uh, quickening is, you know, where all this big climactic stuff happens, and that's what three is going to be. Um, so that's what we're really looking forward to is a lot of big action and a lot of explanation. But really, what four is? I couldn't tell you. I really can't say anything about what's going to happen in 3 and 4. I am just as in the dark as anyone else around this. You with the red tie. Uh, I would comment about the end of the Evangelion. A lot of people think, you know, that Mano just did it just to kind of piss off people with all that and all that and stuff. I think that's misleading because I think it's generally coming from my good parents. You know, he's working on money and stuff. But I think one part that could be true is when he shows a lot of action. In Japan, when you see the three Kamikaze and Ray, I think that it is kind of hit my hip, like the middle of the day, and not just like showing that this is what you look like in real life. You know, you look this, you know, Well, weren't those actors who were doing some type of Ava play at the time? Or, I, I heard that, they were also. 
that the those were like the three actresses that were doing what the game was I think those were the voice actresses for those three characters. Oh. Sorry, I had to text message. Uh, yeah, to, to what he was saying, uh, yes, I do agree that I do believe those were the voice actresses for uh, for Oscar Ray and Isada with the back shot in yes. live action. Oh, okay. Yes, but also um, I like I don't know why he decided to do the cat, the train, the movie crowd. And on a side note, the movie crowd. If you notice, most of the people in the movie crowd are just indifferent, they're doing whatever. And then this one little schnuck just decides to be like, Yo, what's up? Word! It's like, really? Really? Do I really need you, like, ruining this great idea of a shot by being a complete total doofus? Yes. So that sounds like something you do. Yes? Alright, let's uh, use my Yes, you're back. Yeah. Uh, I think tomorrow and Shinger and I can this a series that had more of a friendship that took those twisted turns once the uh, events in like I think it was 23 started happening. I think this is gonna happen around since he basically shanked the hell out of the unit one and the other two. Yeah. Okay. 
interesting <laughs> okay. like, bit. How many of you remember the episode where Fly, Bender, and the professor were in the time machine that could only go in, that could only go yeah. forward? Yeah. Okay, yeah. you know how that went, where as they show the destruction of the universe, and then it starts up again. Yeah. But with minor changes happening every single time. So everything so going forward, just a little white or something like that? No, oh, no, 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 is that basically the universe is just like restarting itself. So, could it be a sequel or could it be a continuation of Endeavor? Maybe, but it could also not be a uh, continuation. It could also be its own universe at the same time. Don't. Where do I see the Endeavor? It should be the last one. It's the beginning of Well, yes, because everything's happening. Once it's over. After Shinji she, and Asuka, time shoots forward and three But then, how would everybody like, why would they separate? If those two together, and if it's restarting. You're thinking time restarts, and everybody has to meet each other all over again. Yeah, but he's already mad at Asuka after her impact. So that's in the new continuation of your guys' theory of the timeline. He, yeah, he is. The entire universe blows up, then Big Bang happens again. That's what's wrong with No, what I'm saying is after it begins again, they're on the beach together. Yeah, that's when it started your new timeline. Right. Right. Yeah, I almost want to say Third Impact is a, in, in End of Ava, it is a big bang of itself. Because, like, what I'm going on is that you hit Third Impact in some of the other things. Mm -hmm. Reset button. Okay. I actually do have an idea for this. Kind of flow, flow on this. Shinji and Asuka becoming Ed and Eve can restart life. So the second, so, 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 when we, so, so when we get to the so when we get to Shinji and Asuka and rebuild, they, so when we get to Shinji and Asuka and rebuild, they are not the original Shinji and Asuka from Ender Eva. They are just down the line Shinji and Asuka after years and years of Shinji being an Asuka kids and Eve stuff. So, okay. You have a lot of hands up. I must have made a lot of people mad. Okay, let's go first. Let's, let's do let's do white to black. How's that sound? Okay. With how with how engrossed Ava is in religion, who knows? Hey, I just have one more thing. Um, what do you guys think is the so-called core status of the show? Um, I think that's just gonna be explained probably in the third movie. I'd say towards the end of the third movie. Yeah, I I wouldn't even know what to think. I I got no comment. My brain was so just excited after the end of 2.22 that I had to stop, rest, and then meet Spike Spencer. Yes, I'm, just, I'm just blown by the fact that there's two Lance Longinus. Potentially. He was like, he was like all pointing out there sometimes. Wow. Well. Uh, okay, okay. Before it's happened again, the battle started to lack. Possible. Interesting. I have a couple of changes. Um, you have the So you're saying that like 1.11 was based on memories of the Uh, sort of. Like, somehow, like, he remembers that he Well, we actually, we actually have a weird theory about Kawaru um, that you came up with. And this goes to, this ties into uh, the original series of Animated Galleon. Although, actually, I was going to say, we have not warned enough people that I would love to raise our hands about this, this current debate as it is, so let's just wait until, you know, I'm going to touch this now. The question has been answered. Um, 
want to talk about all that. That's the case. See, that, that's, 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 that's I will finance like, all my money. <laughs> that's almost like my. That's a better expert. That's like a better version of my theory. It's like Shinji has his own personal reset button, and if he doesn't like how things go, yes, it's, 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 it's the reset button. No, no, no. Stop right now. Share, get off the stage. Yes, get off the stage. We can handle this ourselves. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to go to right here in the front with the glasses. Oh, glasses. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so, uh, I really like the idea of taking rebuild as a story on its own. Anyway, Why? It's like, I'll make you happy this time because Ray could make you happy 
Sounds awful, actually. Um, but yeah, I know you want to say something for yourself. Okay, Rebuild is not connected to the original uh, Evangelion in any way except for the name. My reason for believing this is that I don't love throwbacks. In episode one, Sanchio, first angel, third angel, I'm sorry. You know, one with the other, her face and everything. Yeah. He gets hit with a missile in the face and then he punches another missile. Right? Yes. yes. And the Evangelion, what happens to Oscar? Missile punches a missile. In Evangelion 2.2, how was Asuka introduced? Gunbuster kid. He loves throwbacks. So in even going at 1.1, I'm thinking everything that they do it, like, you know, it's like Red Sea, throwback. Uh, the outline in the city, throwbacks. Yeah. What about the giant, the, the, the giant um, weapons just the same somehow? How do they get up there? It's, it's not connected. It's just like, what's up, what's up, what's up? So, 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 so that's all like, um, like you said, the next other series that they kind of think has to be. Like, uh, the whole, like, you know how Gandalf has a missing line? Yes. You know how, you know what he actually says? I heard I love you, but... Uh, yeah, I'm going to say that to you right now, and I ask myself that he's going to say that to you because, you know, okay, anyways. <laughs> and, you know, the way that it was figured out, because I read it still online, was the best yeah. series ever, you know, so, it's actually through throwbacks, title cards, and what's typed on the computer when uh, yeah. I have these three times. Throwbacks on a little bit of a It's a different series. Take a few more. Uh, yeah, a few more. Yeah, like, yeah, I thought this was like three more. I'm going to be more. Okay. okay, these two have had their hands up for a little yeah. while. I'm going to go with your guy first. I feel like it's like something yeah. really super simple. <laughs> I would be surprised if there's something simple too. It's, no, no, what it is, it's all leading up to a Cheers beer commercial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were a lot of them last night. No, 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 it's the morning rescue. And you want shirts. Essentially, Angelic Days is kind of basing 
off of advanced sort of alternate world, but they kind of do have, so I mean, the Amos still exists, the angels still exist, but what it is that they focus more on the personal lives of each of the characters as opposed to them in their Amos fighting stuff all the time. Right. Um, I say for now, I don't know how many of you like it or didn't like it, but um, I mean, if, you, if you're more into a, I guess, a slice of life, it's sort of um, it does play anime way. or manga, you yeah, might kind of give it a shot just because, like I mentioned, it's just more about the, just the first of life. Yeah, and it, it does seem to be a bit of a love story as well, especially with Shinji. Um, but there's an there's a throwback in very interesting throwback, and that was that is the school the school year days of Yui Ikari and Gendo. Yeah, in which is in, it's an incredibly interesting little read. Uh, well, actually, the other thing about the show was the Kensuke, correct? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, the other one you have to find out was that Kensuke has the hots for Asuka. Yeah. Woo! Is Kensuke going to be that's in this series? Um, and the other, the other interesting thing is that um, I believe it was uh, Toji and Kensuke are also uh, are also pilots. Yes. Yes. Yeah, Kensuke becomes the sixth child, if I'm remembering correctly, um, and which is which is incredibly great because now he's developing as this as a character, the forefront characters, whilst well, being this little comic relief, you know, character that you know is hanging out with Shinji all the time. And you know, I feel that you know, Angelica has really played him up nice. You're shaking, you're shaking your hand. I don't want to give you a, a can of soda. Don't, don't look at me. Don't look at me. What I do? Right. Just, just, just say, just say it. Don't don't look, look. That whole series is based off of like episode five or something. Twenty six, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they got the twenty six. That twenty six where shows like, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm late for school, and like, Ray's like, I'm generic with posters in my mouth. <laughs>
he is a, he's a parent in every sense of the word, so much so that Shinji has to stop him from being one. Oh my god, I have a reason to go with Gendo next year. I he is there. Ken, because Gendo is so, <laughs> wants to be so involved in Shinji's life. He's a happy, devoted father. He still works for Nerd and all that stuff, but he really wants it. And Gendo gets drunk. And Ken, Gendo gets drunk and, and collapses face first into the lap of Asuka's mother. Wow. Asuka's mother is alive in the series, for the record. No one is dead. Yes, no one's dead. No, no one's dead. Wait, no, no, one, wait, no one's dead in the Ava series? What is wrong with this? <laughs> no one's not four no, kids. No, I can already tell you it's not the four kids version. There is both of them. You get to see some quality, quality Misato and Asuka. Yes. And, and, and Ray groping the living hat out of Misato. A naked Misato in the hot tub. Oh man, can't hide for this. Uh, I, know. I would also like to add that Gendo being drunk is one thing, but then Gendo is Gendo has to go to Shinji school one day for a parent-teacher conference. He shows up, he shows up, he shows up like too early, way too early. So, like six hours. Yeah, like six hours early. So he's standing in the back of the classroom, first of all, trying to say, don't mind me, I'm not going to be here. Then when Shinji can't do something, he goes overprotective and screws that up. And eventually they throw him outside, he's standing in the middle, he's like sitting in the middle of the hallway, and then here comes Yui, yoink, dragging him down the hallway to get away from Shinji. Oh, God. <laughs> what? How's Shinji going to get in and out of his mom if she's not dead? Oh, oh. 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 I'm feeling in a rib shot here for some reason. Well, here's the weird thing about Shinji Kai Razor Kai that I should mention. Uh, the Avas aren't present. Nope. No Avas. What a twist. They're in angelic days. Nerve is a, a, a campus apocalypse is a religious school. 
It's funny just the whole thing. Okay, I, I, I seriously think White Hat over there is going to explode at any moment. Do we have another camera to film him? Hold it in, hold it in. You're I just got one quick question about the building. So does it shoot out like these cushions? <laughs> Bloody mess. Um, okay, guys, back to what I was saying. Nervous not only religious school, in a certain sense, they're also this little underground organization that fights the angels, except the angels are not giant monsters anymore. They are demons that inhabit people. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a good reaction. Yeah, that is a good reaction. Let me put it this way. Campus Apocalypse is, Campus Apocalypse is Evangelion if it was the X-Files. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you yes. didn't like the X-Files. Okay, who's the devil's skulling? Ray's, the Ray Oscar's still in this. No, that's Coward. Yeah, they're in the no, series. Coward's like making his first appearance. Coward's a smoking man, for God's sake. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, no. Uh, Ray's still in this. Okay, Coward's still in this. Okay, Coward's still in this. Okay, Coward's still in this. But it's like this, they, they're, they're supernatural fighters. Shinji becomes this sort of accidental member. Uh, Kawara, Ray, and Asuka are bioengineered. All of them. Um, from, except Asuka's is a little different in the fact that she was actually made from natural parents, which is a test tube baby. Um, yes, she, she's still completely nuts. She's Sorry, but no. That part no. Of Ray, Ray is so emotionless and devoid of it that it's terrible. It makes it makes the the Ray from the original series look like she actually did his whole life. Yes, it makes it makes original series Ray look like original series Asuka. Oh, wait, 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 wait! I was gonna say, give me a Ray. Yeah. One. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Anyway. Um, but the whole, the whole thing is, they're supernatural fighters, they fight the angels who, whose goals are completely, you know, whatever, world domination, whatever. Um, I will say this though, this is not a long series, I, I've confirmed that it is only four volumes, with the fourth volume to be released this summer. Um, whether or not it got cancelled or whatnot, I don't know, but it's only going over one very small story arc, which is not fully developed. So, yes. Five OGs. Five OGs. Alright, we will not take any more. Well, we won't take up too much more time, don't worry. I'll also say, like, I'm up with three more questions. How's that sound? Or, yeah. Alright. Um, right. um, Alright, really quick, guys, because we've only got a couple minutes left. Um, Even though this thing was pretty much a QA almost. Yeah. Does anybody have any ex other questions regarding Evangelion for us? I'm going to go with the blue hair over here. Production hell. Pre-production hell, I should say. Yes. If it happens, it happens. At this point, at this point I don't really care if it happens. I don't want to know. Let me put it this way. If it's, if it's going to turn out anything like what I'm hearing about the live action and Kira movie, I don't want to see that. So basically we're going to have George Kai explode. George Kai will explode now. Oh, yeah. Um, if you guys want to... I have information about the live action and Kira movie if you want to catch me after this. Please, no. No, no, no. But I'll tell you after this. And, uh, White Hat is going to explode. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, I'm assuming you've read Campus Apocalypse. Yes. To start off generic, like, my name is Jinji Akari, and I'm a normal high school student. But today... I'm going to give you a straight answer to. 
I'm going to go to the long hair guy first because he's had more. Any of them sound any? I don't know why the color change of the LCL. All the colors are the same. Why is the why is the color change? Better animation. Uh, budget. Cherry tang. <laughs> it's it, I'm, yeah, I'm sure that, yeah, I'm sure there's an ass ton of symbolism in there, and I'm just not even seeing it right away. Uh, red shirt guy, really quick. Red shirt guy, him all, all the way back. Yes. Red shirt back over here, and that's. Are you guys familiar with the whole like, backstory? You know, I heard think about like the first ancestral race and the egg and the being shot before. That's something that's very explained. That's like the backstory. We've heard all that explains all these questions, but it's not like something that's necessarily the canon. So I wonder what you think about that. You know, I'm interested in looking through a lot of backstory, and I still can't. 